hello 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 tam fam welcome back to my channel this is tamara and today's video is going to be another sophisticated ladies joint and you know that's me miss penny miss robin miss tammy and miss kel so guys in today's video we are doing a valentine's decor DIY centerpiece so these are the two items that I created well yeah I created a pair of candle holders and I have been seeing these forever roses so I decided to make my own version of course using items that I've already had on hand and to make these things guys I spent seven dollars and that was to get the seven stems of roses all right so i'm starting out with this beautiful red and gold dollar tree candle holder and one of their cylinder thingamajiggy bobs so here i'm just playing around to see if i wanted to add some gold trim to it because i am going with a red silver and gold theme so I'm just going to simply hot glue the candle holder to the cylinder and I'm going to turn it upside down. Now guys, you could be done with this um, DIY right here and it looks very pretty. Just depends on your choice, your color choice for your color scheme and you can be done. So I hot glued both of them and then that was it. decided that I wanted it to match my forever rose vase quote unquote and I'll show you why I call it a vase in a minute so here are the two completed so the next thing I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna take an old piece of fabric that I had on hand and it's kind of like a silvery gray fabric and I'm going to use the frayed edges to go around the rim of the clear cylinder and I'm going to go around the rim with the fabric tuck it inside the top and then I'm just going to add a piece of gold ribbon to kind of bring the whole look together so that's what I'm doing here and so I just take a little dab of hot glue inside the cylinder and then fold over the fabric onto it so I'm going to try to do that as neatly as possible and try to keep it the same length because you know if you watch my channel I am not um, specific cut this two inches type of girl I'm an eyeballer crafter so here I'm just going around and tucking at the length that I think it should be and so that's what I'm doing here So I am done with that project, right? For this next project, you guessed it guys, you know Tamara doesn't throw much out. <laughs> so this is one of those humongous cookie, Christmas cookie containers. And the minute I saw it, I said, hmm, that is going to make one of those um, forever vases so the first thing I'm going to do is to take some tape and put around the top of my key container right so I'm just going over in a crisscross pattern 
and the purpose of this this is a tip that I picked up somewhere I'm not sure where um, but the purpose of this is to make sure that your roses or your flowers that you're going to put in there has some place to kind of anchor and balance because I don't I'm not a fan of foam I don't really buy foam floral foam right so the tape works just fine and I knew I wasn't sure if I was going to use fabric or if I was going to use that white um, thing from the Dollar Tree that I used to craft all the time but I decided against it and decided to go with the same piece of fabric that I had on hand so so far guys I have not spent a dollar as yet I haven't spent anything because everything that I used in the previous DIY I already had on hand so here I'm just trying to um, make sure that the crease is nice and neat and then I'm going to cut off my excess fabric and then just go around and glue the fabric. Make sure I'm pulling it tight and taut to glue it to the bottom of the can. And so this is what it looks like and I did not want to have the tape show on the outside of my fabric which is why I taped it first so now I have this these beautiful long stemmed roses from the Dollar Tree and they're velvet roses and they come um, three stems of roses in the pack so I bought seven So I'm just going to go around and add those and place it and make sure that they are fluffy, make sure that I'm getting the effect that I want. So I'm just going to be um, moving around and fixing and I'm also going to be including some other roses that I had on hand just to kind of help it to be a little bit more balanced and full. I just want to take the time to say ahead of time thank you to all of my fabulous content creators who I know are going to do a video for this collaboration. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your support and I will be watching. I will try to comment early but if I don't get to please just know that I did watch your video and I really appreciate you for joining in. So again, guys, Miss Penny is the one who is doing this collaboration. She is hosting it for this month. And please go and check out Miss Penny. She does some awesome DIYs and organization videos and just YouTube talks and helping you to grow your YouTube channel. So Miss Kel, Miss Robin, and Tammy, they do vlogging, they do DIYs, they do tablescapes, they do thrifting. They do some awesome things on their channel as well.
and make sure you check out the playlist. So here guys is my final reveal. So for the candle holders, this is what they look like. I just dropped some flowers in there, but you can put a candle in it. You can put some, um, some glass fillers. You can do whatever you want. Oh, forgot to tell you, I decided to add a red ribbon around my tin and I had this heart brooch added it here and a piece of crystal and I also added some crystals inside some of the opened roses just to give it a little bling glam effect. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Um, if you're not familiar with the Sophisticated Ladies Club, we're a group of ladies on YouTube who come together once every month to kind of just showcase our talent and to invite other people to come along as well. So it's Miss Kel who founded the group of If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. Tammy of Tammy Thompson TVMG, Miss Robin of It's Just Me Robin, Miss Penny of At Penny's Place, and me, Tamara of Love My Babies Forever. So for next month's collaboration, we're going to have an open invite, so be on the lookout for that. And it's going to be something celebrating Women's History Month, so I know you're going to love it. So please let me know in the comment below, guys, what do you think of my version of the Forever Rose? And what do you think of my candle holders? Now, this is not how I'm going to style them. I am planning on using these items on a tablescape that's going to be later on in the month. But I'm just creating all the pieces and having fun using all the things that I've already had on hand at home. So all of these DIYs that I've been doing for the past month have really been just crafting my stash. So guys, please go and check out the playlist. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you guys are safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. And as always, this is Tamara saying be blessed. And I will see you next week.